Hey everyone, welcome again to this tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to be demonstrating how to install and set up uh, VCSA, uh, which is VMware vCenter Server Appliance on a VMware ESXi, uh, which I recently configured. Um, now we're going to be installing a new version, um, version 7.0. Uh, so this, this is actually going to be the first time that I'm going through this installation. So it um, should be pretty straightforward. Now I have it set up uh, on, this, on the 6.5 version. Um, today I'm just going to be installing a new version on my new uh, 7.0 ESXi. So just to kind of give you a background. So I do have my old um, or, you know, my, my, my VMware ESXi 6.5. Uh, which I have running on a Dell R710, um, but I kind of wanted uh, a new version of VMware as well as just new hardware in general. So I made a purchase of a HP ProLiant server, which I uh, uh, which I have installed ESXi 7.0 um, on here. So you know, just gonna go through the steps on. You see, we have 7.0 here. I'm just gonna go through the steps on installing the VCSA. On here and you know setting it up and you know probably creating a cluster um, between both of these machines or you know, both of these are uh, host um, I may get to that part or I may just you know save that for another video I haven't decided yet so um, we can just go ahead and jump right into it so if you're if you haven't you know looked at the pricing yet uh, the vCenter server um, licenses are quite expensive um, so really, I can you know if you're a student or you know somebody like me um, who don't doesn't have six thousand dollars to pay um, a license um, and you still want to play around, uh, there is a sixty day tr uh, free trial for VMware, uh, which is pretty much what I, what I'm using right now to kind of get this set up. But um, there are also other ways to to get you know cheaper licenses, which I'm not going to promote on this video. But um, there are ways to to get other licenses, but. Um, for now, I'm just I'm just using the 60-day uh, uh, free trial to get this set up. Now you can just um, go to the website. You can type that in in Google, and it will bring you to this website where you can you know just follow the prompt, select the version that you want, and um, download now. And it will prompt you to actually log in. So you probably need to have an account if you already have one set up. Um, free to to get an account set up. Um, but once you just go through the steps to get an account, um, you know this is the original version. Um, but if you can, if you click on the download free trial, uh, it would send you to the evaluation um, copy where you would have to essentially log in again. Um, but from here, you'd be able to easily download. Um, if it would let me log in, um, but yeah, you should be able to easily download. Uh, or register for it actually first you need to register for this um, it's going to ask you for a couple of information your name email um, business or whatnot but um, you can fill that out and it should give you this option to manually download this ISO image uh, well yeah this is for the ESXi but the one that we need will be this uh, VMware vCenter server appliance and this is what we're actually going to be working with so I already, I already went through and downloaded that file um, so now we're just gonna work through and, and get it set up so just make sure we have the file um, so you can see I have this downloaded um, so let's go ahead and uh, get started getting this set up so you can actually extract that but I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right into it um, you have two options um, to, to run install it you can use the CLI or the they have a, a UI that you can use to, to get this set up. So I'm going to go with the UI and um, they have the, the Linux version, Mac version, and Windows version. So I'll go with the Win32 and um, just double click on this installer um, exe file. And that should all you know, kick us off and um, should be ready to go. So here asking us what do we want to do well we want to install a new vCenter server um, it's fine go ahead and hit next uh, 
to read the licenses if you want to, or the license agreement. Uh, I don't think anybody does, so I'll just go ahead and accept that. Now, this is where it's going to ask you for your ESXi. So I'll make this easy to read and um, actually split this page up so we can kind of see it better uh, if it works. Let's see. So I'm going to set it up on my new ESXi. So here it's asking for my IP address, so I'll grab that. Um, I don't, I don't really have any DNS set up on my home lab at this point, but that's something that I'm working on doing. But for now, I'm just going to be using the IP. If you have DNS, feel free to uh, set it, set up a DNS and you know enter the um, fully qualified domain name um, instead of the IP address uh, for username. Go with root and then the password that you set up for um, the ESXi. And this will allow it to connect to that VM, to that uh, ESXi host. It's going to validate, and now it's going to ask us to set a. I mean, you can give this a name. I usually just call my um, VCSA. That's fine. Um, set root password. Uh, make sure that you set a strong password. Confirm that and hit next. And then, depending on your environment and really what you're trying to accomplish, um, you have a few options for the deployment size. Um, you know, really, it's just asking you for the the amount of hosts um, that you intend to use this vSphere to manage. Um, here, you know, if we're managing 10 hosts, we can do tiny or 10 hosts or less. We can use tiny uh, with 100 VMs uh, or small. This is a you know home lab environment. I don't see myself adding more than 10 hosts uh, to this environment um, or more than 100 VMs. So I'm going to go with the tiny, but just uh, make sure you select the one that, that scales best best with your environment. So. Um, And then it's going to ask you for the data uh, store, uh, the storage to uh, kind of deploy this on. I'm going to set this up on my default uh, data store on my server. Uh, it's asking if I want to set this up as thin client or thin disk mode. Save space by allocating only blocks backed up by physical storage when they are written to. Um, sure, we can go with that one just to kind of. Um, say some spaces if it's going to help there. I don't think there's any major downfall of having that thin. Um, I think there's more benefit than harm. So I'll go ahead and select that. Um, if you have a vSAN cluster, you can um, install on there. And then here is going to ask you to configure um, your network. Um, for the most part, you can if you have your static IP set up, you can. You know, set that up, and if you if you have a static IP allocated, you can go ahead and set that up and uh, put in all your information. Um, I have DHCP on my network, so I'm going to be using that to um, to have this set up. Uh, again, don't really have DNS set up, so I'm going to leave that blank. And then hit next, and then this is where you know it's going to ask you for confirmation of what you already have set up for this first again first stage uh, so I'm gonna hit finish and then it you know as you can see it's kind of kicked off the deployment on my VM one ESXi so I'm uh, not really sure how long that's gonna take i um, not gonna hold you guys until that so I'm gonna pause the video and uh, come back when this is completed and we can get you know we can finish up the setup so um, I'll be right back all right so after about 30 minutes or so, um, showing stage one complete. Uh, so at this point, I want to go ahead and just, uh, looks like we can actually browse to the management interface of the VM, that was, I mean, of the, uh, the vCenter server. Uh, but we need to, it's not complete yet. So we need to complete or hit continue for it to go to the stage two. And while it's loading, we'll just go ahead and browse to the management server and kind of just explore that a little bit. Uh, let's go ahead and accept the certificate error. OK. 
Okay, so vCenter 7.0 have successfully installed. However, additional steps must be completed before it is available to use. Um, so we can set up, upgrade, migrate, restore, but I'm not going to mess with that. Um, I'm just going to, you know, go ahead and finish up the uh, installation for now. So we'll hit next. Um, here's going to ask us to uh, synchronize or set up the synchronization or NTP and synchronization so uh, for this I'm just going to synchronize with my ESXi host and I'm going to enable SSH access um, you don't need to do that but let's go ahead and get that done over with uh, hit next and then here's going to ask for a single sign on configuration um, you can if you already have a single sign on domain already established you can um, connect to that or you can just create a new one here so let me just go ahead and create um, create a new one and I go both that local um, log in as an administrator and then create a password Okay, and then once we have that done, we'll hit next. And then late, later in the future, I'm actually going to try to, one of the projects I wanted to do was to set that up to um, use my um, Active Directory um, domain controller to, to log in or as a single sign-on. So I'm going to set that up, but that's probably going to be another video and, and not this one. So I'll just look out for that. Um, so configure CEIP. Custom experience improvement. Um, it's also optional if you want to join that. That's fine. Um, I'm just leave that default and hit next. And then it's going to ask for confirmation and just hit finish. And you'll not be able to pause the installation once it's started. That's fine. So click OK. And the configuration is about to start. So I think this is also going to take uh, another couple of minutes. So going to pause the video again and I will come back once this is completed to wrap things up okay so after about 10 minutes or so um, get the successful message um, so now our VCSA has been deployed successfully so I want to just go ahead and grab the URL um, to get into the vCenter Accept. And by the way, we can go ahead and just close that out. Expand that. And then launch the vSphere client. We'll refresh this and see what's going on here now. Okay, so we get login prompts for both the management interface as well as the web interface. So here I'm going to type in the administrator. I can spell that. Local. And put in my password. Taking off a little bit of time to load while we're waiting on that. I think we can just go to root and root password. And we're in the management interface. I'll go ahead and save that password. So yeah, this just this is a management interface, it gives us a good overview, um, allows us to um, kind of monitor the server um, or monitor the the VCSA server, make sure everything is looking good. Um, configure backups, uh, syslog, 
to you know your sing tool or, or log manager and log correlation tool whatever the case may be uh, and then we can manage um, you know the different services that are running we can start stop um, various services um, that are running on the server and things like that so I think that's pretty cool and then we have firewall where we can um, add firewall roles um, for access to the VCSA um, and I believe here we can also enable or disable the SSH um, access as well so yep all of that looks good and we're actually we can switch I mean, we can shut down this uh, VM from here. Um, I like the dark theme, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch to that now. Um, but yeah, that's that's the management interface um, running on five four five four eight zero. Um, go ahead and just hit bookmark on that one, and then here is our vSphere client or vCenter. Um, we can see we have this one host um, that this is installed on. So I think what I'm going to do, or this is the vCenter IP. So what, what I'm going to do now is just create um, the cluster. Let's see. So we can just click around, make sure everything is, looks good, um, which it does. If you notice here that I have licenses expiring, um, this is because I have the 60 day um, license. Um, if I was to go ahead and purchase one of those licenses, I would come in, I would need to come in here and, and add the licenses um, accordingly. Um, so uh, just quick setup. So I mean, you can create your groups um, and whatnot. So I'm just gonna add, uh, just gonna add a, a user. You don't have to do this, but prefer to for this than using the uh, default user or default administrator. It's just bad, good practice to always set up a different user. I'm going to add this. Yeah, I mean, so we have pretty much that was it. I think that was pretty straightforward. I'm gonna change to the dark theme. I think that was pretty straightforward getting this set up. Um, really, so on the next video, I think I'll just you know end this video here, and on the next video we can focus on uh, really configuring um, this uh, VMware server or this vSphere vCenter server rather, um, and we really set up our um, clusters, um, host. And, and you know, I'm gonna try to merge it. So I have this is where it's currently installed on this V, uh, this ESXi server. So I'm trying to, you know, merge it to or create a cluster with this ESXi so I can have multiple hosts um, on this. And then um, eventually I'm gonna try to leverage vMotion to be able to transfer some of my VMs from here to this host. Um, you know, my goal is to essentially eventually deprecate. Uh, to decommission this host. Uh, this is an older version or older model of Dell um, R710. So I'm going to try to you know, get rid of this, sell this, and then buy a newer version. But um, for now, we're just going to focus on setting this up and um, getting things back up. Um, so, yep, uh, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, appreciate you all watching and uh, just stay tuned for the next content. Uh, feel free to subscribe, like, and leave a comment. Um, thanks for watching.